Hi Internet! Uh, so this week I'm going to be talking about something that's a little bit of a juxtaposition of two different ideas. So what I'm going to be talking about is basically criminalized versions of childhood characters. My number five trend is called Violent Princess Street Art and this is by a Scandinavian guy named Kara Nilsson. Uh, he's a graffiti artist and what he's done is he's basically painted a bunch of Disney uh, princesses. So we got Snow White, we got Cinderella. Um, but they've been photographed in a way that it looks like they are just lurking behind corners ready to hurt someone. So my number four trend is called Aged Cartoon Illustrations. So these illustrations are by Matthias Seifarth and what he's done is he's sort of reimagined uh, classic kids uh, characters like Betty and Wilma and sort of really old school retro characters like that and he's just sort of made, brought them up to speed so like if they had followed them until 2013 this is sort of what he thinks they would look like and let me tell you they did not age well. My number three trend is called criminalized kids show depictions and this is by far one of the sort of like most unsettling uh, versions of this trend that I've seen so this uh, this really talented graphic designer. His name is Dan Levisi. He's based out of California. He's taken basically all of the Sesame Street characters. So you got Bert, you got Ernie, you got Cookie Monster, and he has made them look um, like they're having more than a little bit of a rough patch. Um, he makes them look like sort of very down on their luck criminals. They look very intimidating, very scary, um, and it's literally just the exact opposite of how they're portrayed. Uh, on TV when you were growing up. My number two trend is called Cartoonified Pop Culture Icons. So this is by a guy named Adrian Notre Dame. So he's done a couple of TV people. You have Walter White from there uh, from Breaking Bad. You also have all the Spring Breakers cast, which is a pretty kind of niche thing to add in there. Uh, but basically he's taken all of these really famous characters that are really popular right now and he's made them look like Simpsons characters. And it is obscenely uh, accurate. Like it just looks like they could throw them on any Simpsons episode and it would just make complete sense. My number one trend is probably one of my favorite photography series of all time. So these are by Dina Goldstein and the whole series is called Fallen Princesses. And what she's done is she's taken basically doppelgangers of the very famous Disney princesses and reimagined them in really unfortunate uh, but realistic everyday uh, circumstances. So you'll have Belle who's undergoing plastic surgery, you have Cinderella who's sitting alone at a bar. They deal with obesity, they have Little Red Riding Hood walking through the forest with a whole lot of McDonald's, uh, looking a little bit bigger than you might imagine her. So if you guys know of any other ways that people have sort of turned classic children's ideas on their heads, I would love to hear them. Uh, you can tweet me at CourtneyKV and I will see you on the internet. Bye!